back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today we are doing another taste test. Yeah! Yes. Oh. Okay, so let's just explain real quick though. We are really excited about this because we have been eating pretty much like raw, clean eating the last week, like oh, really yeah. good. And so we are like just so excited <laughs> to have, you know, Oh yeah. Packaged food. Oh my goodness. Those <laughs> right? are chips. Chips. They're kale chips, chips but they're chips, chips nonetheless. Anyway, this is like our third or fourth taste test we've done now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we have been doing these for you guys with Vegan Cuts and they actually sent us this box. Thank you so, so much to Vegan Cuts. We love doing this. I will have it linked below. It's so cool. It's a subscription service that is literally tons of new vegan friendly snacks. Yeah. And it's, it's been fun because pretty much every box has had like things we loved and things we mm -hmm. didn't. <laughs> So, but so, you know, for those of us that, that are hardcore vegans, we go to Costco, right? Yeah, they got all the taste testers out there. None of it's vegan. This vegan. is my Costco taste. This is my test. Costco. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I miss out on all that. We walked around Costco and I was just like, oh. Oh, oh. no, <laughs> no, no, yep, that's mm -hmm. what happened, yeah. but no, it's really, really cool, it's awesome because these are things you can totally throw in your purse too, which is great, and or you know, satchel. or your satchel, <laughs> it's a satchel, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we really, really like it, and I will again link everything below, they also offer a beauty box as well, and makeup box, which is pretty cool too, and yeah, so we had one item, we haven't really looked through any of this, yeah. but we have one item we did throw in the fridge just because it would be better cold but I say we just get into this let's do, it. Let's do this let's do it all right all right so the first item is this farmhouse culture is the brand dill pickle G that wasn't kale chips G <laughs> oh, man. G kraut chip crisps with probiotics oh, take everything back from the intro <laughs> I'm not excited <laughs> we're, we're gonna try we're gonna be open-minded and we're gonna enjoy the crunch that okay, it gives. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Oh, I had to center myself for this. Center. Oh no. It smells like dill. Oh, I hate pickles. <laughs> yes. I don't know if I want that. I hate pickles. Oh, there's a lot of dill. There's a lot of dill. I am Ooh. not the biggest dill person. I actually got some fresh dill recently, and I, I do like a little bit, but as a true flavor of something, I'm not a pickle person. I don't like it. I'm going to hate it, aren't I? Now, if you love that salty, salty pickle, this might be, it's way too salty. You're going to absolutely hate it. It's not the dill, it's the salty. Oh, nah. No. No. Oh! oh. Yeah, so I told you. I told you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> she walked off camera. And that's a wrap. Super salty, very dill, has a pickle undertone to it. Not me. No. Not me. I'm, I'm really good. There's even like a heat <laughs> background to how much <laughs> dill is in there. That ain't it. And you know what? It's not even like I don't taste anything mm. else really about it other than like the dill and salt. And yeah, it is just salt. strong. No. No, moving on. Okay. Okay, let's do something good. Cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate Cleanse here. Cleanse the palate. All right. Amazing raisin. Looks like a raisin. Tastes like a strawberry. Flavor infused strawberry. Okay. Okay. Looks like basically dried little strawberries, little raisins. Yeah. Gluten-free, fat-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, kosher, vegan, and GMO-free. What's in it? What's left? Yeah, they're like little, oh, they smell good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. All right. Oh, so they're yeah. just, they're little raisins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. Mmm. Oh, man. Are those, <laughs> are those horrible for you? I don't know. Because those should come in bucket sizes. 110 calories for the whole thing. That, okay. First off, it's fruit. First off. <laughs> it's a fruit. It's good. No, that's real good. Amazing raisin. That's. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a keeper. Yeah. All okay. right. So we got the Go Go Dippers Hummus Multigrain uh, Sea Salt Pita Chips. So you get both in here. Tasty treat when you need a little more to eat. Well, how about it? Let's see here. This is cool. 
So you get a little thing of hummus in it and then a thing of crackers. You know, I, we've tried things like this before. I don't like room temperature I hummus. Agree. I like my hummus chilled. I agree. But so I'm maybe, sure it's maybe good. Maybe pull it from the fridge. Yeah. Maybe, oh, oh. I agree though. You can have hummus like that totally, but I, I think it does taste better too. Oh, it's just a little chippy. Do chippy by itself first. We haven't eaten this in so long, it feels like. It's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to try the hummus? Yeah, let me crack the hummus here. This is really cool that it's like a little thing you can just, again, throw in your bag. All in one. Alright, let me give it the stir. Give it the stir. These are really good. That, it's just, it needs that little bit of chill through it. Alright. I'm sure it's good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it just needs to be chilled. Has a strong cumin flavor. This is good. It's good. I like it. That's a keeper. Go go dippers. These are cool. I've never mm -hmm. seen these before. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get them again. I just put it. I store them in the fridge. Yep. So the next one are these Protez Pro's Protez. I don't know. Protez protein chips. 15 grams of protein. Zero guilt. Uh, tangy Southern barbecue baked chips. I don't know how we could go wrong. I don't know how this can go wrong. Let's give it a whirl. Anything barbecue, I'm usually down for too. Oh, yeah. I love the flavor. They don't have a strong smell. They look funny. They do look funny. Okay. Mm. No. Ooh. No. Um, no. It almost gets chalky. And the barbecue is very much like a, uh, they just it's, thought they needed to yeah. throw something on it. It wasn't. Um, I'm sorry, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like that. No. It got chalky. Yeah, and it got like super chalky. burnt flavor almost. Yeah. The barbecue's wrong. We're so rude. We're just food critics just, here. No, I know. I'm not a food critic, but just, this is an honest <laughs> assessment. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But again, like we've said in previous videos too, it's good to like get this box, even if it's like a bust. Yeah. Because. And not to say this one is, but if it was, you're not spending money on a full size bag um, and then being really disappointed. Okay, so this is a little weird to me. I love black olives. I love them. But this is pitted black olives, snack olives, seasoned with sea salt, packed loose without the juice. <laughs> okay, first off, say it again. <laughs> packed loose without the juice. You put that in a commercial. All right. <laughs> This is by the Mario brand. I don't know. I mean, it's just good guy. I've never met a bad Mario. Yeah, we'll just we'll give it a whirl. Out. Okay, they're a little squished. <laughs> I mean, they smell like like olives. It's olive. It's okay. a little black olive. I know people are cringing right now. A lot of people hate olives. I love them. Tastes like an olive. I'm cool with that. Yeah, totally tastes like an olive. It's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Solid. I guess if you want a little olive snack, Good there you go. Snack to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, then we have a gluten-free granola, extreme nut and fruit. I mean, you could obviously put this in like cereal too, or you can just eat it as is, which is what we are going to do. One packet, 140 calories. I'd say that's pretty standard for most granolas granola. out there. But it kind of looks like a cornflake almost in it. It's got like dried cranberries, some almonds in it. I don't know how well you'll see okay. that, but. Good little medley going on in here. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I pretty much like any granola though. I'm not that picky, but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. That's good. What brand is that? The onion. What did it say? Bakery. Bakery on Main. Bakery on Main. Like That's not Main bad. Street. There you go. Good take that. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Organic Energy by Scout Brand. Scout Backcountry. Uh, Peruvian chocolate. Five ingredients. Chocolate, almonds, pumpkin seeds, dates, pink Himalayan salt. I gotta feel really good about this and I hope that it is yeah. good. Let's, you know what? Should we save it or should we just do it? Till the end, it's sweet. No, let's just do it. <laughs> I talk myself through it. Uh, I see something else down there that's a dessert. Yeah. Oh, yes you do. I know I do. 
It's like a kind of a Laura bar. A little bit. It's good. I would say kind of like a Laura bar slash mm -hmm. power bar. It's not like true chocolate. It's good. It's not overly sweet at all. It's good because it doesn't have the chalky. It kind of yeah. melts a little bit. It's good. I like yeah, it. It's very good. It's good. I'm excited about this. Nate, not so much, but he's just not a fan of, of like gummies. I love gummies. I love them. This is the J. Luders. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Luders of Germany. Soft candy, red berries, vegan, uh, free from gelatin, artificial flavors, and artificial uh, colors. Gummies. Mm -hmm. I'm into this. I love me. Some, I love me some gummies. All right. Red I'm, berries. I love eating food that just gets jammed up all in my teeth. Mmm, <laughs> it's just that texture between my teeth. I love. <laughs> it is so good. Good. good baby. If you like gummies, you'll like them. They are good. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Good stuff. All right. Next, we have the Vegetarian Traveler Toasted Bean Blend Garbanzo and Soy Medley. Little like trail mix pack almost. Um, it looks very familiar to like the kinds we've had before that mm. they've thrown in. And we were like, I don't know. And they were delicious. So yeah. let's give it a whirl got like yeah beans and nuts and little crisps what else is there yeah i don't know if you can see that or it's not. Birdsy. birdsy it looks like birdsy yep i bet it's good though i love stuff like this too uh, uh. <laughs> a little hard because careful on your teeth mm -hmm. it's good mm -hmm. it's a little bit crunchy like in a be careful <laughs> Well, yeah. some pieces, but it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I'll have to try this another time, but this is a whole food shake, decadent plant powered meal replacement, gluten free, soy free, non GMO. Um, I, yeah, bodybuilding. I don't know what the nourish and bloom is the brand. It's like a package here. They do give you a coupon too, which is cool. It's a pea protein. Yeah. I'll have to try it out. Uh, 200 calories for the pack. That's a lot. 25 grams of protein. But it is a meal replacer, so. A meal replacement. That's yeah. not bad. Very, cool. Very good vitamins and stuff. Yeah. We'll have to try that out on like a vlog or something. I'll, I'll share that with you guys. Yeah. Another thing that we've had many times, I'm sure you have too, this is awesome. Uh, the Justin's Maple Almond Butter. I've not, actually, I've never had the maple one. I've only had the vanilla. I bet it only gets better I from here. I bet it only gets better. This is cool too. Um, a little hack for you guys if you are at Starbucks. Not every Starbucks has them, but a lot do. Their sprouted like grain bagel is vegan. Mm -hmm. I think a couple other ones are too, but just double check. And a lot of them sell these there. Uh, the one close to us does not, but other ones do. And you can totally put this on your bagel and it's so good. So it's a little vegan hat right there. Cause honestly, Starbucks doesn't have a ton of vegan food options like in their actual case. They have some snacks and stuff, but anyway, I just, that's what it reminds me of. But should we try this or should we save this? Oh, you can put that on my lunch later. That's fine. You guys know Justin's Almond Butter. It's it's amazing. It's really, really good. It's one of the best. So, got that in there, too. All right, next one. This is a pretty big size package, too. The Good Bean. I've heard of this brand before. This looks like going to be like corn nuts, and I'm into corn nuts. We've gotten one of these before. Yeah, not this, though, I but maybe the, the brand. I yeah. Think the brand. Uh, fava and peas, fava beans. Uh, crispy favas and peas. This reminds me of actually what Trader Joe's has right now. They have like a pea, uh, like a pea blend, a uh, bean blend, too, like by the corn nuts. It's so good. It looks a little weird, but it is good. Um, but I think that's going to be very similar to like a corn nut. I think it's just softer than a corn nut. I, corn it nuts should are ridiculous. Be. They're like oh. kind of two rocks. Fava beans are usually a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I know it's, again, kind of hard to see, but yes. Go ahead. In the dried peas, like you would almost think like, mm, no, they're pretty good though. They're just salty. Oh yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. I'm very okay with that. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And what's the protein on it? Because beans, 
Seven grams. Seven grams for one ounces. Mm -hmm. And there's six servings. So. It's not bad. Mm -mm. It, that's what it reminds me of, though. If you've seen those at Trader Joe's, that's totally what it reminds me of. It's a good size. It's good. It's a good, good size, too, for mm -hmm. the box. All right. So last but not least, we do have an item in the fridge, too. Do you want to grab that? I need to clear my palate. Clear your palate. So we just put this in the fridge, though, just for like 10 minutes. But it is a 10 grams plant protein. Good karma. We've tried this brand now. Dairy-free flax milk. Last time we actually tried a flax milk, and I was like, I don't know. I've never had it. We loved it. It was good. Um, this is omega-3 and protein chocolate milk. He had recently had a <laughs> chocolate almond milk, and he loved it. It was very addicting. It, I got in trouble for a bad joke right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Could be colder, but oh, it's good. I really like flax milk. That's good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How much protein is in that? Uh, 10. Wow. 10 grams. I think I might have said that already, but yeah. That's good. Oh, yes. Good karma. We have to, that brand we've really been oh. liking, so we'll have to look into that one more. That's good. Mm. I like that. All right, so lastly awesome. is this True Woman Plant Fueled Protein Bar Zesty Lemon. Good stuff. I love lemon stuff too. I like really chocolatey or really lemon. It's like totally opposite. Oh, it looks like a power bar like glazed. It's so, yeah. You see that? Ooh. It is glazed. Ooh. Oh, that's special. Oh, that's good. Oh, get out. That tastes what I remember. A lemon loaf tasting like from it Starbucks. It does. And I haven't had one in so long. Okay, this is a candy bar. That is good. This is a candy bar. It has a little bit mm. of like that kind of protein bar taste, a little, but that's good. Oh, get out. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, man. Mm. That's a special one. That's a good one. Mm. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Nice. So that was everything this time. And we love sharing these with you. So if you yeah. like it too, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, what was your favorite? Well and bar. So outside of that guy who's an absolute winner, mm -hmm. um, I think mm -hmm. either the flax milk yeah. or the... The raisins. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, the raisin things, the strawberry raisins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you were to... Here's the thing. Here's the childhood me coming out. If you gave me this... This and that, I would feel like I'm four years old again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. that, that's some childhood stuff right there. That's really good. Yeah, that's bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys, like I said, I will have them linked below. Totally affordable, really cool to get different things every month sent to your door. So if you guys enjoyed this video again, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>